It's the Gear Tester here, and welcome to my installation video and mini review of the ARMS number 32 throw lever adapter for the Harris bipod. What I like about the ARMS throw lever adapter for my Harris bipod is it allows me to quickly attach or detach my Harris bipod from any of my rifles that have Picatinny rails or Picatinny components on the fore end of the rifle. For this installation video, you're going to need the ARMS number 32 throw lever adapter for the Harris bipod and of course a Harris bipod. The first thing you're going to do is remove the traditional attachment component from the Harris bipod, which the arms throw lever is going to replace. So you can see here on a standard a stud on a rifle, you would spread these little wings, they would clip in with those little teeth into the holes that go through the standard sling, swivel, or sling attachment on a rifle, and then you would screw this down and it would create tension as it pulls down. You're going to release that screw completely in order to remove it. The standard Harris bipod mount that comes on your Harris bipod will have this little ring, this little copper ring attached through the little hole right there. You're going to need to remove that copper ring and then you'll just simply make sure that this screw component right there that creates tension is released and then you're just going to pull up and pull it out and you would either get rid of this or save it if you think you might uh, need other components if you decide to switch the, the bipod back to a standard or traditional rifle attachment method. Then you're going to have all these different components that make up the ARMS number 32 throw lever adapter for the Harris bipod. And what I'm going to do right now is clean all the grease or oil off of these components, apply Loctite, and then attach them correctly to the Harris bipod. The reason I'm showing you this step-by-step -step process of cleaning the threads and putting Loctite uh, as I attach this uh, arms throw lever mount onto my Harris bipod is the fact that I have failed to be careful with these steps in the past. Sometimes I have not degreased or loctite things and inevitably they come off and I pay the price. One of the things you're going to want to be careful of is when you are working on these with the Q-tips, make sure that a little bit of cotton doesn't get left over there in the threads like you could see right there. But my point here is this, I'm showing this to you, my valued viewers and subscribers, because I've paid the price for not doing this correctly, and I want you to take these steps when you install components like this. You've got three primary components, uh, two plates, and then this attachment system that goes through the hole here in your Harris bipod. You're going to want to install this component first. I'm just going to slip it through like that. So you can see that this plate has a longer portion and a shorter portion, and I'm choosing to install it like this so that the shorter portion is closer up towards the Harris bipod legs when it's in the closed position, allowing me to put it further down on the rifle, closer towards my barrel. And this is the plate that needs to be installed first, because if you install this plate onto this here, you will not be able to work on that bolt, or you won't be able to install that bolt. Again, attaching Loctite, cleaning the threads is a very simple process. Don't overlook it. Don't fail to do it. I've had to re-zero a couple scopes over the years because I failed to Loctite the components. And uh, one thing you're also going to want to make sure to do is clean off any uh, Loctite that's left over so it doesn't get stuck on anything else. The final thing I'm going to do here is use a uh, paint marker and just mark these so that I can see if they start to rotate out. This is a very simple process. You're just going to draw a little line right so like that and a little line like that. And that's just going to let me know if those are starting to loosen. I don't of course have an easy way to see if this one loosens but I'm assuming with the lock tight and I, I tightened it very well and it will get a little bit tighter there as that lock tight um, dries. So I have completed the installation of my ARMS number 32 throw lever adapter for my Harris bipod. And now I want to attach this entire system onto a rifle. So here's my Daniel Defense DDM4 V5 upper. We're just going to clip it on like so. And there is the finished product. Clips on easy and yet is a very firmly attached. It's not going to come off accidentally. And I can throw this on my other rifles that have similar um, 
rails or Picatinny rail attachments. Easy on, easy off. And uh, now I've got a really firm platform to uh, shoot this rifle from. If you like this video, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel for more quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. In the description of this video, I will have a link to a playlist that is entitled Useful AR-15 Components. Useful AR-15 Components. That playlist is filled with video reviews of products that I've actually used on my personal AR-15s and have found useful. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester signing off. Hey, since you're still here, I would really encourage you to subscribe to my channel. My goal is to produce quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear, and I do that regularly. Subscribe. Yeah, click that button. Now get out of here and go watch some of my other videos.